Hello everybody, uh, I just wanted to quickly let you guys know that this video and the next video are kind of long, I think, as well as the third video uh, that's going to be up soon. They're kind of long, um, we're getting towards the end of our journey, both me and Daniel, so I think the episodes you're going to be seeing are going to be a little bit longer than normal. So just stay tuned, watch, enjoy, and peace out. Alright guys, um, I'm back. And uh, I just wanted to um, highlight a few things right now. First of all, I re kind of revamped this place, took out the pillars and stuff, and I kind of just made this look a little nicer going down into the little little gr grotto, I guess you could call it. And then um, just opened it up a lot and then added this little entryway into our enchantment room. And uh, basically, I've kind of been working a lot off camera nothing important nothing as far as getting myself anywhere to the stronghold goes I just kinda of been just little little things like um, I started a cow farm to try to get myself some leather and then a wheat farm and then I have potatoes and carrots and that brings me into the next thing um, I guess first of all, I should see. I should tell you, I had you have raised minimap uh, uh, as a mod uh, because uh, me and me and Daniel, we both got it at the same time, so it's not cheating. Uh, uh, me and him actually, basically, I think installed it at the same time. We did it together. We have that, and we have. Let me see if I let me see. Uh, I'll look over there. We have Optifine. Both of us got it at the same time. And um, right now, all I have right now is my home on my waypoints. And the sun's going down, so I'll do this indoors. And, but uh, bringing me into the next thing on being going to work, uh, I didn't actually make all these bookshelves from uh, the my own resources. I, if you, if I bring up my little menu here, raise minimap waypoints. I actually found a village temple and a village. Um, because when I was roaming around, eh, maybe, let me see, when I was roaming around in the desert, I remember, I remember before, earlier, I, I said, the desert really doesn't go much further than this, and this is probably the only thing we're going to find, but I went a little further, and look, it's not too far, see, 500, oh, almost 600 blocks, and then uh, under 750 blocks away is that that one. But what I didn't realize is how much desert there is over here on this side of the swamp. Uh, because I think when I first was finding this area, I never went this far. I actually kind of cut through that little meadow hill biome over there. So here we go. Coming right up on the village temple. I guess if you want to say it that way, village temple. You might be able to see it real soon. And uh, I really like what Optifine does to the to the textures. It really, it really, really helps. And then also with the the glitches on what's it called the chunk loading. It uh, totally takes care of that, which is really cool. And of course, it boosts my frames, which I haven't really noticed a big difference. But uh, I just overall, I think it's going a little better, a little nicer, a little smoother. And I do love Raise Minimap because being oh. Cool. Being a single player, let's play, I have a feeling that it's, you know, it's going to be very helpful to be able to use this, especially when trying to find the stronghold, because we can just pinpoint the last place we've been to with a waypoint, and then remove the waypoint. And then also with death, death points. I haven't died since I've gotten this, but, uh, since I've gotten raised minimap, but if I ever do, it'll tell me where I died. So here's the, that village temple. I went in the te in the little temple, and there wasn't much. There was actually more bones than anything else. It was bones, gold, and barely, barely any uh, iron. Now in here, there was no, there was absolutely no blacksmith. So no chest to be found, and there was there was even no library. But I did collect some potatoes. I think here. Didn't collect any of the wheat because I there was really no need. But then I continued venturing on, and I've actually explored the whole desert. So this next place here isn't 
the last thing I, like as far as I went I, I kept venturing around hoping maybe to find more stuff but anyways so going to this next village Doo -doo -doo -doo. all right there it is um, I, I found I think it was potatoes at that one and then this one I found the mother load this is a big village I found potatoes and carrots so I just took home both uh, you know as much as I could get because those are going to be great food sources if I ever run out of meat which I probably won't run out of meat but if I do whatever so here I'll, I found a library right there what I didn't get it all oh I guess I didn't get it all oh maybe there was two okay well basically this is what I did I took all this basically and I just noticed we have 30 levels. We could go ahead and enchant our sword. And I say our sword because our pickaxe is not really something we're going to be using much of. Uh, at least anymore. We don't need any more obsidian. I'm pretty sure we're, we don't really need to get more diamonds if we, you know, we don't have to. And I, I guess there was no blacksmith here. I thought maybe there was, but I guess there wasn't. So, now that we have 30 levels and a full enchantment table with uh, able to enchant up, you know, 30 levels, we can go do that right now. So I'm going to head home, and you can see, of course, I have home marked. And uh, just so it doesn't get distracting, I like to turn off those, those other waypoints. Those were just kind of for me to go ahead and show you. So that's the first thing I wanted to highlight. Or, well, that's actually the second thing. The last thing I wanted to do is get some ender pearls. Now, I'm not actually going to do that on camera. I'm going to probably get one or two, and then, you know, I'll either cut it or time lapse it. I'm probably just going to cut it because I'll, I'm going to show you the process of what I'm going to do, and then that's that's about it. Uh, so, l let me actually, a little bonus for this episode, let me enchant, level 30 enchant. Except, uh, you know what? Let me actually, I'm going, I'm going to enchant, I'm going to enchant a bow. How about that? I'll, cre I'll make a bow, and we'll level 30 enchant that. Hmm, no. Actually, let's do the sword, because then if I get looting on the sword of any kind, that'll help out with gathering ender pearls. So, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do the sword. Hopefully, I don't get a fire aspect on the sword, because if I get a fire aspect on the sword, then I'm not going to be able to get any enderman with that with the diamond sword. But that's okay, because I have this iron sword here. Alright, so, moseying on the way home. Man, there's a lot of cactuses. I wish, I don't know. I was going to say, I wish there was no cactuses, but, I don't know, cactuses are, are good, I guess. Oh man, and sprinting. The one thing I, I, I hope Mojang or whoever uh, just fixes the fact that like if you hit something, like if I hit a wall, I stop sprinting. Oh, and this always happens. I don't know if this is because of the new update, but I'll lure, I'll lure the, the little kid back into the cage, right? Okay. And then I'll log off. And I'll get back on, and there'll be another kid out here. So, I don't know if maybe that's because of the new update, because I've seen lots of other people have had that problem. They'll log in, and a little, one of their animals will escape out of a cage, wherever it is. I don't know. It's very annoying. You know, actually, I'm going to keep that there. Um, did I put books in there, or books in there? Look, okay, there we go. Books in here, plus one extra bookshelf. But here we go. Time to enchant a sword. Ooh, and this is going to be a full sword, too. This is going to be pretty cool. Alright. Let's see what we get. I want to get a two-liner. Ooh, this looks good. Let's see. Ooh. That's, okay. Smite three, looting two, knockback two. That's going to be great on on the under on the Enderman. Not so much like Smite. Smite 3 is actually good against uh, zombies and skeletons. 
but looting two and knockback two, that's going to be fantastic because of the fact that Enderman, if I knock him back, I remember I remember having a knockback two sword with Enderman. It, it goes really well. Uh, it, not, it knocks them back so that they can't hit you, but then they keep, but just enough to, to where you can keep hitting them. So I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna wait for nighttime, and I'll come back ready to fight some Endermen. Okay, see you back at night. All right, guys, it's nighttime, and it's time to go sh go do some Enderman hunting now. Normally, I would do the same thing that Daniel does because, of course, you know I, I showed him it. I would I would build that little uh, I'd build a little platform three high so that the Enderman couldn't couldn't get me because Endermen are three tall Endermen and Iron Golems are three tall and they can only go into a three tall space, not a two high space. So as long as you're protected underneath something that's three tall and only you can fit, an Enderman can't get to you. But because I have this knockback two sword, I'm gonna try it out couple times see how good it goes um, against an enderman and we'll just go from there so let's get the the first kill um, if it goes well I'll just keep farming them and I'll see you back so alright enderman where are you at let's go come on come on I'm gonna get you man what is oh there's some oh you see him I see him do you did you guys see that what the heck oh they were just over here I know they were I saw them over here unless they hit the water or the lo ah oh, it's just an illusion oh there we go there we go Got him. Get over here. Um. Hello. Oh. He must have. He must have teleported in the water. See, they're so stupid sometimes. Can't believe that. All right, I got two of them. Let's go. Dead. One more hit, and I think I'm done. And I'm done. Oh man, that was crazy. But look, death point. All right, we're just gonna run. We're gonna run. Man, I need to check up on my armor. Whew. You know what? I was probably completely out of food too. Oh man, they were so close to dying. How did they not die? Oh, but if you notice that zombie died in like one hit or two hits, if I had a smite four, it would have died in one hit. Yeah, okay, I think I need to lure them away. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. Zombies, they can, uh, oh shoot. Oh my gosh. Zombies. Uh, can pick up your stuff. So he just picked up all my stuff and my sword. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Zombie, get over here. Oh, give me this. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Oh my gosh. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go over here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is, this is bad. This is bad. Oh shoot. Okay, this is bad. This is bad. There we go. Come on. Die, 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 die. Oh, man. <sighs> Luckily, I didn't have much experience. Okay. So. Clearly. We need to... We need to follow our system. My... My system of creating that... Uh, what's it called? 
creating that little thing. Well, and lowering them underneath because, ooh, oh boy. Okay, come on, get health, get health, get health. Now, okay, I'm gonna go. This one's probably down to like one hit. Die! Man, that's crazy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't know how something else isn't tried to get me. Oh, okay, so I think this is a system we're gonna follow for a while. Come on. Nice. I like the knockback too, though, because this really helps. Ooh, potato. Okay, so I'm gonna. Man, all this XP goes everywhere. I'm gonna keep farming them this way. And, um,. I guess I'll come back when I get a couple more. Just let me kill this guy. Smite three and looting two. All right. Look at that though with creepers. That's incredible. Five ender pearls already just from two. Two of them dropping them. That's incredible. Now XP though it's hard to do. Okay, so I will see you back in about. Well, well, I'll see you back when I'm finished collecting uh, ender, ender pearls. So, okay. Alright, guys. The sun is starting to set. And I would like to just say... The first night was semi-successful. We got, we ended up with seven ender pearls. Um, I did die that one time. I didn't die after that. So I went ahead and made myself some armor. Some enchanted armor. So this this stuff's almost dead. So, we're going to take that off and throw this. Project out... Or, Protection one, great. Of Aquafinity one, good. Protection one on the boots, good. Projectile protection one and projectile protection one on the breastplate. Eh, not the not the best, but those skeletons are pretty gnarly, so I guess that's okay. Also, you could see, you can also see I got splash potion and weakness, a couple of them. So that's if we get into some trouble, just throw that. Weaken the Enderman a little bit, and we'll be on our way to killing. Because that's what we like to do. We like to kill, right? We like to kill. And now I realized um, also, now that I have this looting sword, I should go back to the nether and try to get a couple more uh, blaze rods. Because I think just killing a just just killing a couple of them with this sword uh, and having them drop blaze rods will give us plenty. Because with every blaze rod, we get. Uh, we get two blaze powder, so I think that's fantastic. Um, fantastic odds, fantastic chances. And uh, isn't this uh, this view just so great? So dead. What if that was my real house in real life? That would suck. <laughs> I live in a temple. An abandoned temple that's supposed to have had dead bodies previously. And I looted it, and now I live in this desert wasteland. Hey look, at least I got some water. And I got food, and I got pet cows that I eat and kill. Man. And again, I was out there, and the, the one of the little babies, they was they was gone. They was out and about, and I didn't even breed them. So I mean, I know sometimes when you breed cows, if they're too close to the side, the baby will come out on the other side of the, the fence. But that was not the case. That was not the case. So uh, I'm just gonna roam around. Get the spawns to happen. Mm, no, see, no enders, man. Uh, I did continue using that trick where I, where I stood under the three, three, whatever, three 
block high thing. But I don't know, I'm gonna try this technique with the weakening. Man, those creepers, they just keep creeping. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh shoot, missed it. No Enderman. Alright. This is getting a little absurd. This is the desert. This is where a lot of Endermen are supposed to be. Oh shoot. That came out of nowhere. That was cray. Alright, let me keep wandering around aimlessly. Good thing you're faster than mobs, so then you can travel quicker. No, I don't, I still don't see an Enderman. What the heck? Alright, where are you at? And don't tell me you're in the end, because I know that. But I know some of you magically found your way back here to the overworld. Oh, there you are. There you are, come to me. Come on, bro. Yo, hey! Oh, you just had to pick up a block real quick? Okay. Yo, man. Hey. Hey. Hey! Dude, come on. Um. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Don't hit me, Enderman. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. You're weakened, man. You're weakened. Does that mean that they... I don't think that's... That means that they do less damage, doesn't it? Not that they're weakened, but they do less damage. Okay, two Ender Pearls. Nice, okay. Let's keep on going. I like that technique. Alright, let's go. Yo, where you be? Where you be? Okay, this is not a game of hide and go seek. This is a game of I kill you or you kill me. Come on. Just come on, Enderman. I know you're out there. Okay? I know you're out there. <sighs> I can't just be one of you. Alright. I guess I'll, I'll come back at the end of this night, too. Alright, so that night's over, and we came back with five Ender Pearls. So now we're at a total of 13, because seven last night, five this night, and then one from before. Uh, we're going to go ahead, and I think we're going to turn these blaze rods into some blaze powder. Just like that. There we go. I'm going to take half that stack. Actually, give me half that too. Uh, oh, well, I could have just done that. And we're going to make Eyes of Ender. Isn't that, isn't that just incredible? Eyes of Ender. Okay. We are making progress. I saw Daniel's video and he was already on the way to the stronghold. So I think this is where I'm going to end it right now. And next episode, we're going to start journeying towards the stronghold. Now, I know we only have 13, and you need at, least, you need at most 12 to activate the portal. Uh, if I find it, I'm going to look, see how much more I need, and then we're just going to get that much. So, hopefully this 13 lasts me till I get to the portal. And uh, I'll see you later.